Welcome to the Gaylord Hotel in North Texas. I'm Laura Oakman, joined by Fox analyst, nine-time Pro Bowler, Super Bowl champion John Lynch. Is there anything else you would like? Is there anything on your card that I did not say? <laughs> That's good. You're good with <laughs> all of good. that? Yeah, okay, you. one of the huge things we're going to be watching and one of the key matchups on Sunday is the safety play. Right. Troy Palomalu. I mean, if I made you say what makes him so special, oh, can you do it? What doesn't? I mean, uh, <laughs> the guy is such a wonderful, wonderful player. And he does so many things well. I was back in Pittsburgh a couple of weeks ago doing a feature for Fox, and I asked Dick LeBeau, I said, what makes Troy so special in your mind? I want to hear it from you. And he said, first of all, the talent. He goes from point A to point B faster than anyone he's ever seen. Now, Dick's been around the game for quite a while. <laughs> but then it's the intellect. Uh, Troy has instincts that are so rare to this game. Uh, he has such a feel for the game. And the great thing to me about the safety position, having played it, uh -huh. is that they can't take you out of a game because at times you're a defense alignment rushing the passer. At times you're a linebacker up there in the box stopping the run. And at other times you're back covering wide receivers. And so I think the only way that the Packers can neutralize Troy Palomalo is to get in their spread that we see them do so often, get in their five receiver set. I know that used to frustrate me as a safety because you're kind of back there and you, you almost get bored. But the thing that Troy Palomalo and Dick LeBeau can do, he can go inside to the slot and start blitzing. So he's going to be a, a, have a big impact on this game. And I think the thing that's lost with Pittsburgh is that his safety mate, Ryan Clark, yeah. he's a heck of a player, a Pro Bowl player in my mind, that often goes unnoticed because of Troy. And I'm sure actually he likes that. That yeah. actually plays to his advantage. When it comes to defending a guy, when and you're like this as well, when so much of your game is instinct, when so much of it is freelancing, mm -hmm. how hard is that to come up with a game plan against Well, him? I think what offenses do is sometimes they try to take advantage of that aggressiveness. and. But a guy like Troy, he's on his keys. He studies. He knows it inside and out. He's very familiar with his offense. He's going to be good. He's kind of had a quiet postseason. Ryan Clark's been the guy who's really had the bigger games. And that thing, that makes me believe on the big stage, guys like that, they tend to have their biggest games. I think he's going to have a huge game. I asked Ryan Clark what he learns from him. And it sounded like it was kind of a complicated answer because could you teach a guy your instincts? If it's not something yeah. that you can sit there and watch on film, it's just how you feel, it's what you know. How hard was that for you teaching the young safeties that were trying to sponge off of you all the time? That is hard. You, you try to impart certain knowledge. I think that's sometimes why it's hard for great players to go back to coaching because I think Troy would say, why can't, why can't you see that? <laughs> well, I mean, it's right, right there. there. <laughs> but not everyone can. And, and uh, I, I will, though, I'll never forget Troy Palomalu's uh, first Pro Bowl. And uh, I was, you know, I had been there quite a few times. And Troy coming up to me early in the week and so quiet. And Mr. Lynch, uh, would you mind if I uh, kind of tag tagged along all week and picked your brain? I said, absolutely. And sure enough, he did. I mean, he was right on my side. And uh, we talked a lot of football, developed a friendship. But right at that point, I went back. I knew his talent, but you don't know the other side. I told my wife, that guy's going to be a superstar in this league. And sure enough, he, he's become that. You taught him well, obviously. I didn't teach him. I can't take credit for that. <laughs> um, with that matchup, when it comes to Packers offense, Steelers defense, who are you giving the edge to right now? Mm. A Steelers defense is awful tough. Uh, you know, they're very, very good. I, I think Green Bay's chance um, – to, to really exploit the Steelers is Kurt, Kurt Warner brought it up early in the week as to what he wanted to do two years ago. He wanted to spread them out. He felt like they had an advantage at the receiver position against Pittsburgh's third and fourth cornerbacks, their nickel and dime players. But Ken Wisenhunt said you might be dead by the fourth quarter because you got Harrison and Woodley and you, you create short corners. So it's that balancing act. But I think at some point they're going to have to spread this thing out and turn it into a shootout. That's Green Bay's advantage. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Thank John. You, Laura. For all your Super Bowl coverage, make sure to keep it logged on right here, FoxSports.com. This clip was brought to you by Verizon, official wireless service provider of the NFL.